Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your website. If you're new here, consider clicking on subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new updates. Elementor version 2.5 beta is out and it's packed with features. In fact, it's packed with features that we really wanted in Elementor. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 new features in Elementor version 2.5 beta. It will be out in the first week of March, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into the video. Coming in at number one is a part of custom positioning called absolute positioning. What does it actually mean? Well, you can click on any widget, go to advanced and under advanced, you now find a new field called custom positioning. You can click on that and you can change the position from default to absolute. So when you do that, you get this slider that you can freely drag to position the element within a column. You can even position it outside the column or the section that's in. So you don't have to tweak the margin values or anything. You can simply click and drag the element. It can be any widget. You can also position this widget. Just click on the widget, go to advanced, under custom positioning, select absolute, and just click and drag. It's that easy. Just place it anywhere you want. This is a real game changer and if you're not happy or if you don't want to just position it by using drag and drop, you can also change the orientation and offset from here. So you can use the slider to achieve the pretty much the same result. You can also change the vertical orientation and give it an offset so that it's positioned wherever you want. So it's all up to you or you can simply click on this widget itself and drag it anywhere you want. So positioning an element within a column becomes that easy with Elementor version 2.5. Best of all, this can be changed per device. So you can click on this and change the positioning per device. So you can have a different absolute position for desktop, tablet and mobile devices. You just click on it and you can drag it at a different place for tablet devices. And you can click on mobile and change the positioning on mobile devices as well. Maybe you can have this icon here. It's that simple. I've already taught custom positioning in another tutorial and it's still valid even after this release. But the catch here is that you can apply custom positioning only to the widgets, but not columns and sections. The method I thought will basically let you custom position elements wherever you want on the website. However, you'll just use custom positioning to position your widgets, not your columns and sections. So this method, this custom positioning is only limited to widgets. But if you want to position your columns or sections for some reason, you can follow the method that I taught on this channel. Link will be in the description down below. So that's custom positioning. Coming in at number two is fixed positioning. What exactly is fixed position? Don't be confused. It's simple. When you click on an element and select fixed positioning, the position of the element is fixed based on the browser window, but not on the column that it's in. It means the element stays in place no matter what you've changed in the design. Let me show you. So I just made this button fixed and it's gone. I'm not able to see it. Don't panic. You can just drag it around because the offset here was zero before. So it just went somewhere, the place where I couldn't even see it. You can drag this offset and it brings you in the viewport. So once it becomes fixed, it stays right in place, just like a sticky element. And you can change the offset and you can place it wherever you want. And no matter what changes on your website, this element will stick there and stay in place. So even if you scroll, the element won't be affected. This is called fixed positioning of an element. So it just stays right there. It won't change based on the resizing of your columns or sections. This is not advisable for normal designs, but if you want to make a sticky social bar, it's quite easy with this feature. I'll show you that when the actual version comes out. And just like the absolute positioning, you can simply click and drag the element to position it wherever you want based on your sticky. So you can just click and drag it wherever you want and leave it and that becomes fixed in that position. And again, this method is only limited to your widgets. So you can see this only when you click on a widget. Let me click on a column and under advanced, I won't see any custom positioning. That's because Elementor has included custom positioning only for widgets, meaning you can just tweak the widgets 
based on the columns or the section that's in you can tweak the position of the columns or sections themselves so you still have to manually add columns and tweak them so just like absolute positioning you can also adjust this per device so you can change the position for mobile and tablet devices and have a separate positioning for desktop devices that's really great so a quick recap custom positioning is available only to widgets so you can click on any widget such as this one go to advanced and you, you now see a field called custom positioning you can change that to absolute or fixed but you can't change the position of a column or a section so let i just clicked on this column i'll go to advanced and i won't see custom positioning here let me click on this section click on advanced and i don't see custom positioning here so custom positioning only for widgets so coming in at number three is column vertical alignment you can just click on any column and now you have a field called vertical align so when you change the values it will basically add space between the widgets or space within the widgets of that column so watch what happens as i change various values when i said middle it positions all the elements at the center of the column when i click on bottom it moves all the elements onto the bottom and when i click space between it will just add space between various widgets and when i say space around it will add space around these widgets in the column space evenly it adds even space around and between the widgets so that's what this vertical align field is doing the next feature is called inline positioning of course you have horizontal align but before going to talk about this feature i need to show you the inline positioning feature it's also available for any widget so you can click on any widget go to advance and under custom positioning under width you have something called inline so when you click on that that element will be moved just to occupy the space that it wants without actu actually occupying the 100 percent of the column space similarly you can do with other elements of the same size or same width go to custom positioning click on width and you can click on inline auto and you can see that these two icons are positioned side by side because they occupy just the width that they want but not the whole width of the column similarly you can do this with the third icon or third image you can just simply copy and paste the style because it's effectively the css that it's changing and you can see aligning three images within the same column is that easy previously you had to drag in an intersection widget within this and add various widgets but with this inline feature inline positioning feature you can just do it with click of a button this inline positioning is specific to columns because you might want to adjust the elements within a column so again you can also change the inline positioning per device so you can click on the desktop icon and have a different inline positioning for tablet devices and mobile devices and you can change the width from here coming in at number five is horizontal alignment so you can click on any column just like vertical alignment you have horizontal alignment so once you have your inline elements in space you might also want to adjust the space between the elements so you can simply do that by clicking on horizontal align you can adjust various spacing options as you change the values here you can see that when you change it to end all the positions are aligned onto the end horizontally and you can have space between the elements or maybe space around the elements so that all the elements are placed at evenly spaced locations also we can have space between the elements evenly so horizontal and vertical alignment options help you adjust the space between the widgets within a column coming in at number six is custom width to go hand in hand with various alignment options elementor have added a custom width option to any widget so you can click on any widget go to advanced and under custom positioning you have a column called width under it you can change it to custom and then you can pick your width that changes the width of the element it can be any element so i can simply click on this heading widget over here go to advanced go to custom positioning and i can change the width to custom and then adjust the width accordingly so you can see how the width of that heading widget is changed as a slide this you can also change it in pixels percentage or vertical width it's all up to you and just like custom positioning 
the custom width can be adjusted per device so you can click on the desktop icon and have a different width maybe you can have an inline on desktop and maybe a full width on tablet or something of that sort you can change it per device just like your custom position you can also change the custom width coming in at number seven is responsive columns we previously had the option to show or hide sections and widgets per device and now you have the same with columns you can click on any column go to advanced under responsive you can hide it on various devices if you don't like to so you can maybe hide it on desktop maybe hide it on tablet and so on in at number eight is motion effects well elementor has entrance animations for each section column or widget well you can click on any section column or widget go to advanced and now you find something called motion effects and entrance animations have been moved from advanced to motion effects and you can pick any entrance animation you want not just that you can pick different animations per device so if you want to have a different en entrance animation for tablet device you can pick another entrance animation and you can pick a different animation for mobile device or if you wish to not animate anything on mobile you can just do that for mobile and animate any section column or widget on tablet and desktop and in at number nine is columns in text editor widget so when you drag and drop text editor widget it's boring routine layout but what if you wanted to change this layout now you can you can just go to you can click on text editor widget go to style and here you have columns you can pick any number of columns and just like that your whole text is divided into various columns so you can pick any number of columns from here and this is also responsive meaning you can pick the columns based on the device and also set the column gap based on the device coming in at number 10 is remember last use tab so when you click on any section column or widget and work on a particular tab this or the tabs so the layout style and advanced are the tabs elementor clearly remembers the tab that you were working on so let's say you are editing the style of this column or this section and you suddenly went back to this, to this widget maybe you were working on the content of this widget now when i click on this column it will directly open the style tab for me because it remembers the last use tab so it knows that when i was working on this section i was working on the style part of this section and when i click back on this it remembers that i was working on the content part of this widget last but not least you now have text shadow option for image captions so you can add a text shadow to your captions if you wish to it is also said that the loader or the editor will load 50 percent faster We'll just wait and see when the actual version comes out. Remember, this is still in beta, so some features may change and some other features may get added. I'll just dig into this and post any exciting features if I find. So that's it. I'll talk to you in the next video. And that's it for now and hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.